What's your advice to someone who wants to start doing YouTube 2020? Don't do it! Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving epic vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. Today, I'm going to answer all your questions. Of course. I know not all of you have questions for me. So, I have decided to just go online and to find some questions so I can answer to you as random as possible. Okay, your question is, are you really gonna do the tarot card readings? Hey, by the way, that might be an interesting question. I don't know if I should do tarot card reading. I don't even think tarot card reading is something that I enjoy doing. I think I have the ability of doing it, but that doesn't mean I, I want to do it as a living. Although I did work at a tea shop as a tarot card reader for a year before I transferred my college, my community college to the university. Oh, by the way, if people don't know, Li Wei is one of my editor. And also I'm going to put post his website on the in the description. So check him out. How old is your cat? I don't really know because I got her from the shelter, but uh, they say she was approximately about two years, two years old. And then we had her for a year now. So she's now three years old. A lot of people were asking me about, would you rather questions like this? What would you rather throw away? Love or money? This question is tricky for me because I would want to ask, are we talking about love as in passion or are we just talking about love in relationships? Because I would most likely to keep my passion. So I don't know if love consider as part of passion. If that's the case, then I will throw away money. But if passion is not part of the love, for instance, like the relationship, I will keep that money. <laughs> Which one do you think is harder? Um, English or Chinese? Well, the thing is, I learned, I learned Chinese when I was really young, so Chinese is not hard at all. But for someone who wants to learn Chinese, it is quite hard because all these pronunciations and everything. But I personally find English is hard as hell because they are words that literally don't mean anything, but it is what it is. It is the way that you say it. For instance, sometimes the words don't pronounce the way that it's, it look. And that's the one thing that is really hard for someone who tried to learn English. Is there any country that you would love to visit after Miss Rona is over? I would love to visit Japan, Taiwan, and China. As crazy as it sounds, I have never been to China. Mainland China. So I love to go to Beijing, Xi'an, Shanghai. And I actually want to revisit Hong Kong because uh, I used to go to Hong Kong a lot with my family, but ever since we come to the US, we stopped going there at all. So, you know, I kind of miss, I want to see how Hong Kong is. Rated are questions allowed? Well, that's a question. Yes. Do you think 2022 is gonna be a good year? Yeah, I think so. The reason why I say that is because I am going to get monetized, so, it will be exciting. This will definitely be a fun year for me because I am very close to there. So it will be a good year for me, at least. I don't know if it's for you, but you've kissed within the last 12 months. Uh, yes, to my cats. <coughs> <laughs> Read the art question. Does size matter? It depends on what kind of size, size you're talking about because size do matter if you think it matters. <laughs> I personally think it doesn't really matter at all because I personally not a size queen so I don't think size matters to me. Do you prefer your date to be younger or older than you? Honestly, I don't care. I don't care whether you're younger or older, but my only 
concern is that if younger means immature, then I don't like it. If older means you're still immature, I wouldn't want to date you either. <laughs> so, of course, older makes you more immature, uh, more mature, but that's not always the case. I used to date people who are much older and they act like child. So your fancy headphones were not impulsed by? Nope. It was actually given as a, one of the Amazon review buyer. So I was helping to do an Amazon review on this bad boy. So I got it for free. What's your favorite food? Um, I have so much favorite food actually. I think my favorite is fish. What is my favorite game? My favorite games in terms of console games is uh, Legend of Mana. Uh, you have seen me playing that game before. Uh, that's one of my favorite, but I have a few favorites. Also, like World of Warcraft, I used to play that. I also used to love Dance Dance Revolution and like Dance Central uh, or just Dance. So. Even though I don't think I'm a very good dancer, but I really like those games because you know, you move with the mu music and then you, I don't know, lose some weight. <laughs> Favorite color? Good question. I used to like black, white, and gray. I then I love blue and red, but now my favorite color is actually pink. Are you just going down the list of my favorite things, Leeway? <laughs> What are your top three cuisines and the food that is your favorite for each? First of all, I love hot pot. Uh, I love Korean barbecue. And also I love sushi. Are these like three different type of cuisines? Uh, if we were going with food wise, I actually love food. So it's really hard for me to answer food questions. I love taipanyaki. That's the one thing I love. I also love spicy sauce, so I love Sichuan food. Ah, this is a hard question. Three cuisines. So Asian cuisines is definitely one, but if we separate them, it will be Sichuan, Japanese, and Korean, right? Korean barbecue, so steak is my favorite. Uh, brisket is one of my favorite. Sichuan, anything spicy, whatever and also sushi. Have you ever been a victim of homophobia? I have a funny story to share though. While I was out and about and being, I just came out like back in, when I was 23, I think. Yeah, I don't know, back in whatever, 10 years ago. There's one night I was walking down to a club and all of a sudden, because I was wearing pink that day, right? I was looking very flamboyant if possible. I tried so hard to a point that finally someone rolled down the window as they drove past by and then yelled, F it. and my friend got so pissed off. But I was like, wow, finally someone recognized me. Because ever since then, I had a trouble of, after I came out, people are still think I'm straight. And till this day, it's still people kind of having a trouble identifying me. So yeah, it was a fun experience, but yeah, I did being a victim of homophobia. I mean, that's one. And there's more story of it, but you know. Are you going to play P P3? P3, yes. I am still coming back to World of Warcraft for their phase three, which will be next week. I told Jason that I'm going to be on here this weekend so I can pick up some weapons that I've been wanting to buy it since the phase ends. So if you don't know about this, World of Warcraft had just ended their uh, phase two in the Burning Crusade classic and uh, they're coming out of phase three, which will be facing the Black Temple, Illidan. And so I need to jump back in so I can purchase weapon. I kind of quit for like, what, a month and a half now, just because the game got boring. But now I will be jumping back in because they now have the new instance that I have never experienced before. Maybe I can do a game streaming on this, but you know, I'm not going to hold you guys up for this. But I will. 
What's your advice to someone who wants to start doing YouTube 2020? Don't do it. If you want to do it, do it. Uh, start now. Don't hesitate. Because once you hesitate, you're gonna stop doing it. But let me tell you what's going on with YouTube is since last year, YouTube, YouTube will be resetting their hours. So you won't be able to get, for instance, I'm being still wanting to get 4,000 hours here for watch time. And I'm having trouble with it just because uh, they're going to reset annually, which means by last year of today, the hours that you have watched, it's resetting. Therefore, if I had 100 hours last year during this time, they are wiped out. So I have to make at least 200 hours in order to keep myself monetized under 4,000 hours. So if you want to start your new YouTube channel in 2022, you really need to think of, do you really want to go down this rabbit hole? Because you have to work for YouTube forever. What is your biggest fear? It's funny that you ask this question because recently I have been doing casting for another student short film that I'm ca currently casting about. I came across this actress who was sharing about how she has been doing a very old actress. She has been doing uh, theater for about 50 years or 60 years. She's old, really old. And she says she still have this constant fear of that she forgets her line before she come on stage. And I think I, I resonated with that because when I was doing theater, that's a one fear. That's my one biggest fear ever is that I will walk on stage and forgot all my lines. What's your favorite music genre? I actually can listen to anything. I go through phases, you know, like from Chinese songs, Chinese pop, uh, to K-pop. Uh, I don't think I have too much K-pop vibe, but I actually enjoy their music. I used to like trends. I used to like, you know, now I'm really into EDM, but I used to listen to classics when I'm trying to focus but if I want to sleep I will listen to EDM yeah don't ask me why I might my brain just like circuited differently I need to be loud in order for me to be calm how many platform have you post your videos on Instagram I post snippets of my YouTube YouTube is my main platform but Newsbreak is a uh, it's almost like BuzzFeed, but it's um, so they're like a blog and uh, they're running on their app and their website um, about news and whatever. And a lot of times like food reviews, restaurant reviews like that. They are and um, they, they like to do news on that. You get monetized. What's your opinion on K-pop? I like them. I like them. They're very catchy. I, I don't really care about the K-pop drama but I really enjoy their songs. Would you forgive cheating? Um, define forgive. If cheating is something that doing behind your back, if you feel bad about it, then I don't think I will forgive that person. But lately, I feel cheating. If the communication is a problem and you feel like you've been cheated then yes i don't know if i can forgive that person because i think there's are more people out there that you can date and have a life with but if i think that way then i wouldn't even care right so i would probably forgive that person i don't it's complicated would you be in an open relationship that depends on how open are we talking about right if you agree to have an open relationship but you share everything together with another person i think they will work right if you're honest with that person and tell the progress or you're dating with someone else blah 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 and then you um, even invite this person into like a triangle if it works for them it works for them does it work for me? I don't know. 
never had this experience, so I'll tell you when I have it. Which movie you can watch over and over again and never get tired of it? You know what movie I used to watch over and over and over again? It's The Hangover, first one. Every time when I go to Vegas, I was religiously watching it because I always wanted to have a moment <laughs> like Hangover in Vegas, which I did, by the way. Um, I had many incidents that happened when I was in Vegas, when I was younger. So this question is, what's your favorite, uh, what's your Starbucks order? Black coffee, iced. What is the strangest food you have eaten? I don't really find foods are very strange. Even like rooster's testicles, they were really popular in Asia, so I don't think that was strange. I don't have any strange food that I have eaten. Food that might be bizarre to you might not be bizarre to me, so... <laughs> if you create a photo calendar, what photo would you put for November? Good question. I would definitely put a photo of me having a cake because it's my birthday. Have you ever been in a car accident? Yes, it was back in 2018 in Orange County. I remember so clearly because it just happened not too long ago. What's your favorite baked goods? Cookie. Chocolate chips cookie. What sort of physical exercise do you enjoy? Actually, I don't really enjoy exercises, but I forced to do it. So I would say swimming. Yes, I actually enjoy swimming, although I hate the chlorine smell. That's why it's really hard for me to go to the pool. But if I have a chance, I would love to go to the ocean and swim. What book would you recommend other people to read? Good question. I used to tell people that you should read Harry Potter, but then I realized Harry Potter is too long for people to read, especially people who doesn't like to read. So I started to recommend people to read The Alchemist. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Oh, good question. Uh, mushroom. I actually do like pineapple on my pizza, but not always I will put it on my pizza. I love red sauce and I love cheese. Sausage, uh, any kind of meat, chicken. Yep, perfect. What was your last relationship? Three years ago, what is the greatest gift you ever received? I usually find gifts if they are useful, I find them the greatest gifts. So anything from a laptop, a phone, they consider as a great gift because I use it all, all the time. But the most greatest gift I have ever received is I got into study theater and I met wonderful, men wonderful mentors that became who I am right now. Like I used to be really shy in front of camera or I didn't even want to be a, like as an actor or whatever. So theater really opened me up because all my mentors were amazing and just, you know, pull me out of my comfort zone. So that's the one thing that I think that that was the greatest gift that I have ever received because that's how I become who I am. Boxer or briefs, both. But if I would have find more better, I would like trunks. But because I like more fitted, like boxer briefs, right? So I I like boxer briefs more. But I like trunks just because they, they are shorter, but they're longer than briefs. If that make any sense. Do you prefer wine or beer? Why? I preferred wine if I have to choose from wine or beer, but I actually enjoy hard liquors. So if you would ask me for hard liquors, I would choose tequila, then vodka, then whiskey. Slowly, I've been liking whiskey much more than vodka. So I would say tequila, 
whiskey, vodka, then gin, and yeah. What would you recommend on Netflix? If it's a show, I would recommend Don't Look Up. No, that's not a show. That's just a movie. But I just recently watched Don't Look Up, and I really enjoyed it. I like sitcoms because I think they're short and quick and kind of funny. So I was watching New Girl because my sister got me into it a long time ago. Then I was watching Shit's Creek. I actually enjoy Shit's Creek. I finished them all, so I really enjoy that. I I think I like those short, witty jokes, or sometimes really stupid, but I enjoyed it. Have you done steamy scenes in your acting career? Good question. Steamy as a sex scene? No, but I have done a scene that we were playing two people who got off on the bar, who got so drunk, so start taking off the clothes. But we only take our top. But we constantly making out from the door to the house. I did do a butt naked scene, but. Didn't really show any frontal, and it was in black and white, and I was really fat. So whatever, nobody will want to watch it, and it's nowhere to be found. So I'm not going to tell you where it is.、Uh, <laughs> What's the first thing you're gonna do when you end this long life?、Uh, first of all, I will let my car,、uh, cat out of my room. <laughs> so I'm going to open the door. I'm going to end this stream, and、uh, I'm going to upload this video. To Li Wei, so you can see it at the first thing in the morning. Then I am going to shut everything off and take a shower. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube live. Thank you and good night, and、uh, be safe out there. And、uh, like what Mike, Doctor Mike always says, be cautious, not anxious. Because it's crazy out there during this pandemic. So, bye bye. Good night.